morning. It is Sunday. Just getting ready for church. I've already had my shower and dressed. One shower. <laughs> for those of you who see my last video, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so you guys, I want to do a home house tour. Even though I know when I first started vlogging, I gave like a house tour before, but my house looks different now. The walls are painted. There's different furniture and yeah, but I may not do it until I finish the project that I have going on in my room and then I want to take care of the backyard. So I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this now because it's not something that you guys are going to see next video or even in a month it's gonna be a while but just want to let you guys know maybe look for that upcoming in the future so I don't know I just was watching home tours on YouTube this morning and I'm like okay I want to redo mine I don't have a fancy editor that I way I can do a split screen and show you guys um, what the house looked like before that particular room compared to what it is now but I can go back and find a video it's gonna be so much to search through and I don't even I I don't even think I entitled it house tour I think I just incorporated it in um, one of my blogs so that's gonna take some time to find if I choose to do that and then yeah um, like I said, I still have a project here in my room that I have not finished yet. And y'all know me with projects. It takes a while. I do it on my time, on my budget, and I just um, I just take my time with it. So I want to finish the project in my room, and then I'll work on the backyard. But that, I already told you guys, I'm going to have somebody come out and do because even though I kind of was a tomboy growing up and I'm not too girly girl I don't do bugs I don't do spiders and I don't do wet grass and mud and all that stuff like that so yeah I'm trying to figure out what I want I'm starting to get some prices just preparing do all my preparations that I normally do before I start on a project in my house um, it's gonna be the same as outside my house so yeah, y'all, I need some eyebrows. <laughs> when I was younger, my eyebrows were really thick. And then as I got older, I think with age, and then actually I take that back. So I got my eyebrows, what's that, um, threaded twice. And even though the look was really good, for me personally, and I could be totally wrong and totally off, but I think it burnt out my hair follicles <laughs> doing that because my hair has not grown back in those spots ever since. So now I just have these thin little wild wisp of nothing. And I won't get them microbladed or anything like that because you guys, I don't wear makeup and even though that wouldn't be makeup, it'd be like tattooing and stuff like that. So I don't really do all that stuff like that. So... I'm just trying to clean it up. I know some of you who are perfectionists with eyebrows are probably like, no. It doesn't look like it did anything. It's whatever. Okay, so back and body work sit for today is beautiful day. Can you see it? Can you see it? Beautiful day. Yep, there it is. And the new beautiful day is actually in a blue bottle, so it tells you how long I've had this. I actually haven't had it that long. I just got it before they switched over to the new look. And I'm out of almost out of the lotion, so and it is lotion, you guys. So that is my scent for today. And my friend Tracy, she's the one who actually we went shopping a while back at Bath and Body Works. We're both dangerous together for Bath and Body Works. I tell you the truth. She's the one who told me how good this smells. So ever since then, I've been buying it. I also have Beautiful Day, the perfume. So I'm gonna put that on as well just to seal everything in. Gonna be smelling like a beautiful day. I'm all ready, so just sitting here waiting until it's time to go 
So you guys, the coffee that I had this morning, I totally forgot about it. That was the coffee that when I left UEI College that the students got for me. So this morning I'm like, you know, well, let me try it. So it came with the cinnamon stick and y'all, I actually think I should have only used six or maybe four ounces of water because I did my normal 10 and it was watery, but it was really, really sugary sweet. So it was not that good. And that was my fault for not, probably not paying attention to the directions or just thinking I can use my regular 10 ounces. That was a fail, but whatever. It was the thought that counts. And yeah, so I am just sitting here usually on Sundays. Well, lately on Sundays, I've been getting up late and having to rush out the house and whatever, but today I got ready pretty early. So I have maybe like 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes before I leave. So I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos, you guys. And um, yeah, I'm about to head to church. Savannah is riding with Cheyenne this morning because they are not ready yet, but I'm leaving. That's the good thing about them having their own cars. Whatever, be late if you want to. I'm going on time. Look at the sky, y'all. It is going to rain. So, remember I said it was gonna rain? Nope, it's all clear now. So, we're home from church, and of course I'm in my favorite spot. Still got my hair on. <laughs> Anyway, and I'm just watching, I was about to say Disney Channel, but no, Disney Plus, they finally put on The Descendants 3. So I just finished watching that. Cheyenne and Savannah are actually in Cheyenne's room. Um, they're watching a movie in there. So yeah, I'm really tired, you guys. I'm like really tired. I might just go in my room and lay down, but then if I do, I may be out for the night. Maybe, I don't know. Well, I don't want to sleep that, it's five o'clock. So I don't want to go to sleep and then wake up at nine and be wide awake and can't go back to sleep. Cause you guys, I cannot take an hour or two nap. My naps are like three to five hours. So yeah, I can't just take like a quick 30 minute nap or hour nap and be refreshed. Nope, not me, that makes me mad. <laughs> So I don't know, I'm probably, I don't know, maybe I'll just get my things ready for work tomorrow. And then, I don't know, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna find something else to watch. I wanna show you guys something. So Savannah was flat ironing my hair yesterday cause I washed it, conditioned it, and all that jazz, right? And so we have a flat iron and for those of you that know hot combs are the old school way of pressing your hair. I'm going back, back far. Some of y'all youngsters may not know about pressing combs or anything like that because, you know, y'all do things differently. I don't know. But anyway, so my stove is not a gas stove. It's an electric stove. So it doesn't have the flames for the old school hot comb that you put in the fire. So I actually bought... Years ago, I bought one like this that you plug in, right? So I've had it for years and it's worked fine. Yesterday, it died. And when I say died, I mean completely died. It came out of the little thing right here. So yeah, that is like completely dead. I gotta throw that away. But I do have another one, but the teeth on the comb are wider. I think that's the reason why I bought this one. We don't use that one often. So yeah, now I gotta throw my hot comb away. And I will be purchasing another one soon. So I need some coffee. Got some pods in here. This is a different kind of over here, caramel drizzle. So I'm gonna use that. I don't know, I just, it's almost seven o'clock and I just feel that I need to stay awake. So I'm gonna make me some coffee. So you guys, when I was younger, oh, so I just had my coffee and then I'm just having the Winco brand French vanilla. When I was younger, like in my early twenties 
and I used to um, make coffee. Of course, this was before the Keurig machine and I had the old school coffee pot. I still have one um, where you make a full pot. And when I was younger, for some reason, I didn't know I was trying to become a coffee drinker, but I didn't really know what brand to buy, what brand I like. So I would always buy Folgers. And after a while, to me, the Folgers brand started smelling, when it brewed, smelling like cigarettes and cigarette ashes. And it really, really stunk to me. And I thought, well, maybe it's just the container that I got maybe it was the blend that I had or I don't know so then I tried another kind a different kind and sure enough it smelled like cigarettes like somebody was in my house smoking a cigarette and it really just stunk so I stopped buying the Folgers I ended up getting Folgers k-cups and she was making coffee one night and I'm like what is that burning it smells like cigarettes and she's like, I'm just making my coffee. I'm like, what kind do you have? She's all Folgers. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't know if it's just me. To me, in my nose, I smell cigarettes. She says she can't smell it. I don't know. But um, I'm actually, I made one of hers tonight because it doesn't taste like cigarettes. It just smells like it. And coffee should smell really good when you make it, not smell like cigarette butt so this is actually really good you guys it just stinks when it's brewing Y'all already know my kids are always loud. This house is always loud. If it's quiet, no one's home. Anyway, I guess they're on TikTok. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, don't judge me, but we'll put it up tomorrow. Yeah. Today's February 2nd, and I still have the Christmas decorations in the bin in the house. At least the Christmas tree's not up still. So, that's a good thing. All right. So, it's almost 9 o'clock. I'm actually winding down. Got everything ready for work tomorrow, meaning I my, have my clothes laid out that I'm going to wear and my lunch packed and all that. So, yeah, you guys. So, I don't think I told you, but I am trying to think of ways to, like, just better myself as far as career-wise goes and things like that so I have actually I'm not gonna tell you guys in depth right now because I'm still doing my research and collecting you know information well that is what research is anyway I'm just trying to find out more things about what I want to do I may go back to school which is a good thing I mean you're never too old to learn I mean I'm not dead, so <laughs> I can always do something different. I've been in the dental field for over 20 years, and I'm kind of getting burnt out on dental. I mean, it's been my bread and butter for years, and I love the dental field, but I'm just kind of getting burnt out on it. And something's in my eye. And anyway, um, an opportunity presented itself, and I think I'm going to take it. So as the time gets closer and as I know if I'm going to do this, I will let you guys know. So it's nothing that I'm going to quit my job or I don't have another job or anything like that. It's nothing like that. But it's something that's going to benefit me in the long run. Um, my kids, even though <laughs> they're all grown, you know, I, they're still my kids. So, yeah, you guys, I may be venturing into another career. Like I said, it's not going to happen overnight, and I do have to go to school, take some classes or whatever. So, yeah, I will let you guys know what I decide if I decide to do it. Good morning, it. everyone. It is Tuesday, 
why do I feel like you guys are really low? Okay, I haven't had you guys in this cabinet in a while. I just felt like you guys were really, really low. So I just put you on one of my lids for my cups. Anyway, what was I saying? Today is Tuesday and I am at home. I requested today off because um, I had an appointment. It, remember I told you guys I'm trying to venture out into a new career path. So it wasn't an interview or anything like that. It was an appointment where I asked questions. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing now, I have my rice pot and just my rice. I'm making rice. No, I did not go out in public like this when I came home. I took my hair off because <laughs> you guys know I wear the ponytails and I just put this on. This new career path that I may be venturing out into, I'm meant to talk to the company of this new career, <laughs> um, if that makes any sense. Because I don't want to say anything now because I don't know if I'm definitely going to do it because I've heard the positive sides. I've heard mainly negative sides because the people who went into this field thought they were going to get rich quick and they failed because they got disappointed and you know they gave up so knowing all that it doesn't make me feel like I don't want to proceed with the career it just gives me the tools and the knowledge to know what to expect so and you guys are pretty smart so just from what I said you probably can guess what I'm talking about finally I finally put it away I got tired of seeing it I know I'm a procrastinator so I'm just waiting on Savannah to get in the car we are actually going to the store um, we need stuff for dinner tonight and yeah so we are also going to film a mukbang maybe I don't know we'll see but it's been so cold lately you guys um, the last few mornings have been like in the 30s for some of you who live in states where the weather is like whatever below and you're like oh 30 that's warm <laughs> this is california 30 is freezing all right so we are in winco and savannah wants to make banana pudding so we are going to get the ingredients look at all these cookies you know you guys you should never come in a store hungry because everything looks so good She's wearing her little peep beanie, her little peep shirt, and underneath is her clickbait David Dobrik um, and my custom hoodie juice. and her custom made Chucks. Does anyone say Chucks anymore or is it just me? I'm just what? Oh, it's just commerce. Okay, well the vanilla wafers are right there. So I'm gonna... 